Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Sunshine Acres. I'm Jason. I'm Kara. We are doing uh, another Flashback Friday on Saturday. Yeah. Seems to be every couple weeks. We just can't quite seem to get it done by Friday. But uh, it's a beautiful December Saturday morning. That we'll do Flashback Friday, and we'll be looking at pictures from the summer of 2018. It's gonna be 70s again today. Yes, in December. So it's crazy. So all, you, so all you people that are watching this from up north and you got two inches of snow. Sorry for you. Sorry. <laughs> but it's awesome here. <laughs> Just there. Yeah, it's too high. I was like trying to <laughs> sit up. Thank you. So for 2018, of uh, the summer of 2018, really just two, two big topics that were in the pictures. I don't, we go through some of these pictures, I guess we get, I don't know if we get lazy or we just, for whatever reason, we don't take a lot of pictures, but we had our second 4th of July party, which we had just uh, a few pictures of, but uh, it was a lot of fun. Had a bunch of folks out here, um, got the barn cleaned up. There's a, there's a few pictures of the floor all shined up, looks really good. I think we had more fireworks than we did last year. We did. There's a few pictures yeah. of that. So, I mean, it was uh, it was a bit of a haul. We went big. Went big. Um, I don't think we burned anything down, but there was a couple. Near misses. A couple near misses on that, which we, we've since, with the number of uh, wildlife and dogs and everything around here, we, we kind of stopped, uh, yeah, we stopped doing fireworks. But... Um, it was fun. It was a good time mm -hmm. for a couple of years, but so we got a few pictures of that. We'll take a look at those. Then the other big item that we did in summer 2018 was we had all the, the trees, the big trees that we brought down from clearing for the house right here where we're sitting. Uh, we had all those um, stocked to the side and and saved. And we, we were down for what, a year? You like that? <laughs> no, I don't. But, it, but, it's, but it's right over here. <laughs> it's right over here. <laughs> I'm sorry. So it's back over here. Um. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That came from Rutherfordton. Yeah, so that's where, where I went to high school, Rutherford County, North Carolina. So it was good. Uh, had a couple guys over. They brought a mobile sawmill, and they spent three days mm -hmm. um, cutting up all the trees we had. So what we're going to do for this video is we'll go around, we'll show you. You'll see in the pictures of how much that generated at the time, and it filled. I will not go in front of your face. <laughs> the wood storage guy right here um, filled that up entirely as well as a big stack behind it that we just put some temporary metal roofing over mm -hmm. um, so we've gone through a good bit of that pile uh, and that's what we want to show you today what's left um, what we're planning on doing what we've done with it what we've done with it so what we'll show you that I mean we built you can't quite see it here but there's a cabana bed right here we've dining room table uh, the border for a mirror, uh, nightstands, mm -hmm. and pretty much all the Bottom exterior cabin. trim on the cabin. Yep. So we'll kind of do a walk around of, of all those items as well. So. And that was interesting, those guys coming out and milling the wood, just watching that whole process. It's got Jason talking about wanting to get one, maybe. Yeah, so now we're a couple years later. It's uh, That's been three years ago since they milled that. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll probably go through the bulk of that now. So it took three years to really to get through it. But now we're going to need some more. We've got the next buildings we plan on doing out here. That um, so we are we're looking at uh, possibly getting our own sawmill 
and I don't know if anybody's looked into that, but there you can go. I mean, all over the place. I mean, anywhere from five grand to a hundred grand. I mean, depending on how, how fancy you want it to be. So um, that's something we're looking at. But uh, yeah, we'll show you some of the things that we built with it. everybody so this is the first thing the big item that we built out of the the milled lumber is our cabana bed for the pool um, turned out pretty sweet turned out pretty sweet yeah it's really comfy yeah we won't spend a whole I mean we've got a ton of pictures of while we're building that so we'll probably be back here in a future flashback video but just wanted to show it to you quick now yep got this awesome mattress custom made and oh it's so cozy. <laughs> oh, we slept out here a couple times before the house was done. Oh Remember? yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, it was like after sleeping in the trailer for so long, we got this made. It was like, oh, we have another bed. It's pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, it, it actually, it's almost a full size bed. But yeah, I was pretty proud of this project. My husband teaches me to build all sorts of cool things. Learn as I go. So this is the dining room table we built out of our milled lumber and um, built the bench to go with it and I think at one point we changed the design accidentally but it still turned out really cool and then we got the chairs bought those not quite up for building chairs yet and the lengthy process but um, got those unfinished so that we could finish everything together and I think it ended up matching really well like it was all meant to be together. So did a stain on there, you know, obviously sanded everything down really good and uh, just did an oil-based stain and then did uh, a water-based clear on top. Uh, the tabletop got a little tricky because we kept getting little bubbles in there. So um, did a light sanding between layers. At one point I sanded the whole thing down and started over, but uh, eventually it turned out really cool. You had to do I don't know, like five or six coats of clear on top because you're gonna be eating on it and you want it to um, turn out uh, sturdy for everything. But yeah, we use it all the time. It's held up great and love that wood. Looks nice. So next items we built out of the, the lumber that we had milled from summer 2018 was we built our nightstands uh, for our bed. Um, it's kind of our first attempt at 
small piece of furniture, but uh, turned out nice. Uh, we used the same tops that we have. What was that called? Serpentine stone. Is that correct? That is correct. So we had a full slab that we had to get for our bathroom countertop and we cut that, um, used it in the bathroom countertop, used it in our closet countertop and then the nightstands as well. So um, again, we're not master carpenters or furniture makers, but uh, for a first attempt, I, th I think it turned out pretty well. We got a bunch of video and I don't know about video, but we've gotten several pictures when we're putting those together. So I'm sure we'll hit that again later. Kind of cool. I'm having trouble getting a good angle in here in the bathroom, but I will kind of work my way around and attempt to get Miss Care on camera. So we did these edges for this mirror. I had seen one on Etsy that I really liked and it was like 1500 bucks, I think. And we decided, oh, I think we can build that. So we bought the mirror and glued that to the wall and then these beautiful pieces of wood came from our property and we kept the live edge. So I think that made it turn out really unique and sanded those down and cut a little groove in the back. So the mirror slid right in there and we just glued those to the wall too. So that was a fun project and um, for much cheaper than $1,500, we have a beautiful custom made mirror. And then this was a project of my own. Um, I wanted a shelf here to go with the tub and have somewhere to set my wine or you know my bubble bath and so this was a really cool piece of wood that i liked and i wanted to do something with so obviously kept the live edge on this too and i did not do any stain on this just a clear coat to bring out the pretty colors in the wood and protect it so yeah, we've done a lot of cool things with our wood and I assume there will be lots more to come. Here's our wood storage building that we showed pictures of that we built uh, previously. Uh, so we're in 2021 now and we're actually storing firewood for 2022. But when we had everything milled up, this entire side was full, this entire side was full, and there was a stack off the back of this as well that you see in the pictures. So just kind of give you an idea of what we've got left. I think we will use the majority of this uh, finishing out the trim for the cabin. So we'll see how far that goes. But yeah, we kind of expect uh, by summer of next year, we may be close to out of milled lumber. So this uh, little wood storage lean-to, we built off the back of the barn, but we've got uh, a fair amount of lumber left in here as well. And the bulk of this will go to the accent wall that we're going to have on the far side of Sunset Cabin. So we've already got this here marked for how that's going to be used. That's kind of the remainder of what we've got left. You can see we were uh, we never got around to building um, our headboard our headboard for the bed, but that was these uh, six by six poplars were kind of your mark for that. Uh, you can see a big, I mean, that's uh, probably a 12, 14 foot mantel piece at the bottom that we ended up not using in the house build. So there's some interesting pieces left over. Some real big, thick slabs. Maybe we'll do our headboard still one day. Yep. So we used a lot of that pile on the trim on the cabin here and use some of the more unique pieces here to do the tops of these columns and 
kept most of the live edge. We had to sand that down a little to make everything meet, but you know, all this trim you see here on the columns, all this underneath the porch was turned out really cool, I think, by using that. Gives it a lot of character. You know, everything underneath the eaves there, window trim, corner trim. And this nice big pieces all along the length of that. So everything uh, really came together really nice, but it, it ate up a lot of that pile. And similarly, when we get to the inside of the cabin, there's going to be a lot of things to trim out in there. So we'll, we'll go through a lot of it, but it's been really nice to have on hand and just go grab what you need when you need it. And we've touched on it before, but how many hours of sanding and Staining. prep and staining and there's a lot lot that goes into this so it looks really cool but it is uh it is a labor of love a couple extra steps as opposed to just buying stuff so but it but, makes it really special it's wood from our property and you know it's got a lot of our blood sweat and tears in it so it's a special little cabin and special project for us to work on together and spend time together a lot of time So I guess that's about it for today's pictures. This is Flashback Friday on Saturday again from summer of 2018. I'm glad y'all joined us today. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope this motivates you to get out and go do something in the outdoors. It is beautiful today. So that's what we're going to do. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.